before placing the beam system, you want to lower the beam that's going to carry the beam system at a height equal to the thickness of the beam system's shoe. And in this case, I do know that the shoe distance is at 63.5. But you can always uh, check that and change the said offset value to the thickness of the joist shoe. Now, you always want to place your joist system, beam joist or beam system, at the shortest distance. In this case, they're about the same. So I can say my joist system will go this way. Okay. So I need to lower this beams. So hit control key to select this beams. And lower that by negative 63.5. Said offset lowered by 60 negative 63.5. Okay, accept. Go to a 3D view. And now we're ready to place our beam system. So our beam system shoe will be here. The thickness of that is 63.5. It should be aligned to the top of this beam so that we can place our floor system. Negative 63.5. Let's start with the high roof beam system. So we'll place a beam system here. So structure, beam system. BS is the shortcut. So here you have your beam system. You can change the beam system type here. So unlike the beams or the other items that we were in uh, creating for beam system, the type is placed within the property box. And it says here you can use either the angle web, 14K3, or the joist rod web. So let's use the joist rod web here. You can always load this under insert load where is that sorry uh, insert I guess I have to is it insert there it is thank you load family structural framing steel and you should have here your uh, Joyce Girder, and this is a MK series. So, M. Do I have an MK here? K series. There it is. Am I in the metric? No, I'm imperial. That's why I'm in the imperial. So metric. Structural framing steel MK angle MK rod. So I don't need to do that. It's already preloaded. Okay. Go back to modify. At times you're able to uh, select the automatic beam system, and that's nice. By selecting automatic, you can maybe hover over this okay at times it won't allow you especially if you then don't have a column here i have beams and columns on all sides 
Now, that's the direction of the beam. It's being created at a fixed distance of a thousand. You can always change this to either clear spacing, a fixed number, or a maximum spacing. So for this one, we'll go with fixed distance of 1,000. Justification at the center, that's the beam type. And at using automatic, you just simply click on the direction. Okay, by hovering over the beam. Click to place. Same through here. Click to place. Now, if you don't, if you're not able to do the automatic option, you can go to sketch beam system. And here, for boundary lines, you can click on the rectangle. Select the intersection of your grids. Now, this is going this way. Click on OK. And that's actually the wrong direction. So let's look at it in 3D. Two things. One. I place it in the wrong level. So I can easily change that, but I also change it or, or place it in the wrong direction. So first, let's edit the work plane. And instead of level high roof, I can say mid roof. Click OK. And that solves the first problem. But then I don't have a beam there. So next, go back to mid roof. Select the beam system and edit the boundary, change the beam direction to this way. So those two lines indicate your beam direction, click OK, and you now have it in the right direction. Okay. So. Let's do that again. Beam system or or let's do another one. So restart the beam system command. Automatic is again not an option. We are in the mid roof, so let's do the mid roof this time using the sketch method. Rectangle Zoom in so you, you know exactly that you're in the right intersection. And you want to lock this. It's always nice to lock when possible so that when you move your beam, it will actually move with it. Okay. Beam direction will be this way. And for the this sketch method, you need to hit the checkbox and do it again. So structure, beam system, sketch mode, rectangle, zoom in. Beam direction, change the beam direction so it goes this way, and then click OK. Check your progress in 3D view. Notice that your beam system is on top of the beam, lowered at negative 63.5, so that the top of the joist is aligned to the top of this beam so that you can place your floor system and that beam at the end will be able to support that. So that's why we lowered this beam. 
Okay, let's do three more at the high root level. Structure beam system. I'm not able to do an automatic system beam system creation. So sketch beam system. I'll use the rectangle. You can use any of this tool if you have an irregular uh, space. I'm in the high roof level now. Okay, so make sure you change that to high roof. Beam direction. Click OK. Structure, beam system, sketch. Can you sketch two at a time? Let's see. Rectangle. Okay, let's sketch one. And, uh, yep, lock. Now, if I sketch another, it will actually tell me that you cannot do that because this is not a closed loop. You can only do one sketch at a time. Okay, so beam direction, click OK. And last, structure, beam system, sketch. Rectangle, go to the intersection, zoom in, so you're sure that you are in the correct intersection. Lock. And change the direction. I think I lost. Okay, and click OK. Look at it in 3D. Look at it in a, a section view. Section number two. Change, make sure you are in the fine detail level and maybe change this to shaded. Everything looks good and you're done. 